guys, welcome to another episode of the High Ticket Coaching and Consultant Strategy and Growth Show. Now, if you're watching this interview anywhere else but within our private Facebook community called High Ticket Client Attraction Insider Circle, then definitely come check us out. We'd definitely love to have you. And that community was put together specifically for coaches, consultants, and service providers who are serious about getting up to that six and that seven figure level. So if that's you, definitely come check us out. So today, I want to introduce you to another one of the members of our community, uh, Mikwan Lok. Welcome, Mikwan. Hi. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Thanks for having me. Awesome. You're welcome. So tell the rest of the community, um, community what do you do? So I'm an actress, director, and acting coach. Uh, I currently live in Paris. Uh, most of the time, I'm based in LA, in Los Angeles, uh, California. Um, so yeah, I'm helping struggling actors to move to the next step of their career. Mm -hmm. Okay, good stuff. And I always like asking the question, like your, your backstory, right? So have you always done this? What did you do before you were helping, you started helping um, other actors? Uh, well, before I started uh, in the hotel industry, actually, <laughs> years ago, uh, I wasn't really happy and enjoying it. Um, but, you know, sometimes you have to pay bills um, every time, actually. And, uh, and then I started to uh, completely focus on my acting career. Then I started to become a director. And I actually have been forced to come back to France uh, for paperwork uh, reasons and also the COVID and so on. And uh, I was already helping friends, act friends in LA, but not doing it as a, um, as a coach, like um, getting paid for it, I was helping. Mm. Uh, but I realized that I could bring all my knowledge, uh, everything that I learned over 15 years in acting uh, and help other actors because I realized that after school, most of the young actors were just thrown out there in nature. They have no follow-up. They have no guidance. And most of them actually are lost and they deal with self-doubt, uh, lack of confidence, or are struggling because they don't have the support of family and friends. So I'm also, besides acting, also helping them with the mindset to uh, gain confidence and always fight for their dreams and branding, marketing, and the whole package. Mm -hmm. Okay, awesome stuff. So as you work with your clients, um, what, what are, do you see are there are uh, um, common themes you see in terms of either what prevents them from um, getting to the point where they are successful? The main problem um, that most of them have is actually self-doubt and lack of confidence, definitely. Uh, it comes from, you know, the negative influence, what they hear from people, the rejection. Actually, actors, in one year, an actor gets more rejection than somebody who has another job in their entire life. So they have to deal with rejection every time they go to an audition and every time also uh, when they don't have the support of their family because uh, being an artist actually is, is sometimes not understood by everybody. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, awesome. And what do you find? Is it a pretty competitive field out there for actors? Or what do you find? Um, for actors or as a coach? Um, for actors. Uh, yes, for actors, it's definitely very competitive. That's why you have to have the right mindset uh, because you never know when you're going to get the job. And like, uh, there's many called, few are chosen for the callback and only one person gets the role. So it's super competitive, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And what about for coaches? Are there a lot of um, coaches out there helping actors as well too? Uh, they are. Uh, currently, I'm based in Paris, so uh, there are a lot of coaches, but it's not really in the mindset yet of the French actors. 
to work with a coach because they think that after two years at school in an acting school, they know everything, which is not the case. Um, so because it's like, I always say that acting is like a muscle. You have to train like an athlete. You cannot just train for two years and then hope to run for Olympics. Um, it's the marathon. It's not the sprint. So you have to train, especially because our body, our emotional life is our instrument. So you have to tune your instrument all the time and to know what works for you, what can help you reach an emotion state, an emotional state or not. And um, so in terms of acting coaches here, um, I there are some, but they don't really... Like, for example, they could coach for just an audition uh, for one hour or one hour and a half or two hours. And then that's it. They don't really do the whole package like I do. Like, I really help them um, to uh, move on, to move to the next level in their career. Because it's not only about acting. It's about how you are you going to market yourself? Because marketing is fully part of the job and some people say yeah you know i don't like brag on myself to brag on myself but it's it's not bragging if nobody knows you exist nobody's gonna hire you so they need that and they need strategies they need confidence the right mindset so uh i think that actually i have a niche and have a niche and uh, but not every every coach help uh, actors like I do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Good stuff. What about um, working of, uh, are you working with actors um, globally or do you sp um, focus on a specific area? How do you do it? Um, right now I focus on actors. Mm -hmm. um, there's some people who are not actors yet who actually contacted me and they wanted to explore that for their own growth. Um, it's, of course, different uh, because, of course, depending on the person I coach, I, I only coach one-on-one -on, -one, um, on Zoom. Thanks, Zoom. <laughs> um, I only coach one-on-one. -on -one, and, of course, I have to adapt the exercises. Some actors want to act in English, so practice in English, because it's a different thing when, it's a sec when it comes to speak and be emotional in a second language, which is not your mother tongue. And when it comes to just watch a movie in English or talk, chat, chit chat with friends. So it's totally different. Uh, and some don't speak English. So I have to coach them in French and adapt the exercises. Some are, have a lot of blockages, um, a lot of fears. So they're scared of getting, going, you know, uh, getting emotional because society also like prevent them to become emotional because it's not good, for example, for a man to cry or to become emotional. You know, they have all these thoughts and these, these beliefs that most of the time block them. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you're saying ultimately the types of actors you coach, they could be either English or French, right? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Are there any other languages or are those the main two? Oh, those are the main two. That's, uh, yeah, I speak a bit of Chinese, but it's too hard for me to, to coach in Chinese. It's impossible. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, cool. So what about, um, I guess the, the core thing is, based on everything you've kind of learned, like your whole life experience, if you had to condense this into like maybe a few key principles to what really helps your clients get results, what would those key principles be? Uh, definitely the mindset. I because personally, I, I, I know what they are going through because I've been there. Mm -hmm. So I have the experience that definitely makes the difference because I'm an actress. It's not like a teacher at school who's never really experienced the same thing that they're going through. Um, so I, and I really care. I mean, um, yeah, I really care. I don't want anybody to have their dreams crushed or destroyed or having them give up because it's, it's a, it's a hard job. It's a hard uh, field. And, and yeah, so I, I really care. I really mm -hmm. care. Mo most of my students now, they, I, I enjoy so much to see them grow 
uh, to see them book jobs, to see them um, get more confidence and uh, like ready to ready to move on. And uh, so, yeah, mindset and uh, the fact that I care is definitely something that um, uh, I think makes the difference in my coaching. Yeah. So what is your definition of mindset? My definition of mindset is um, it's like uh, I'm going to take a quote from Jake Ducey, who's my uh, spiritual mentor, and he says that the brain is like a computer. And so uh, sometimes you have a virus and the virus for human beings are the negative influence coming from outside. And so we need to delete the viruses, but first to find the viruses and delete them and then reset the software to reset all, to delete all the negative thoughts, all, all the limiting beliefs and reset and brainwash ourselves with positive mindset, um, with knowing that it's possible, even if, some people in your family or friends or rejection you, ha you have to face uh, in the auditions are putting you down. You have to know and believe and know from your guts that it's possible to do it. So I train them um, with seeing, changing actually their beliefs and showing them, proving them that the limiting beliefs that they have actually are just lies. Mm -hmm. Yeah, awesome, awesome, love it. And I got a question, right? What does the average day for an actor look like or someone who wants to become a successful actor? Is most of the time spent actually in roles or is it mostly, how, do, how, do, how does it look? Um, well, depends, of course, because the life of an actor depends on do I have an audition, do I have this or that. So, but basically, it would be uh, either going to class to practice and keep training, work out, because, you know, the first thing people will see on the screen before you even speak is your body. And in Los Angeles, there's like this big thing about being in shape, being fit, eating healthy, and so on. Um, and, um, and also, um, Sorry, I lost track. Um, so, um, sorry, I lost track. No worries, no worries. Could you, could you rephrase it? Could, could you please rephrase your question? I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, just as far as just the average day of what an actor Oh, yeah, like. and then going, so going to class, work out, and then either work on an audition um, and go to the audition. Uh, that's basically... And of course, yeah, uh, submit because every day you have to submit to casting calls. There's uh, different websites uh, where you have to have a profile there with your headshots, your resume, your, your uh, demo reel. And you have like to look for uh, casting calls every day because and it, ta it can take actually a couple of hours every day to submit. And the fastest you're going to submit to a casting call, the biggest chance you have to be considered for the audition. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Awesome. And as you work with your clients as well, so do you mainly focus on the mindset or do you help them out with these um, other processes as well too? I also help them with the processes like uh, picking the right shots for the reel uh, because uh, people need to know, casting directors need to see how, uh, you can play before even submitting a self tape, and some people first know, don't know what how to pick a he good headshot, or uh, don't work necessarily with a good photographer, uh, because uh, somebody who can take beautiful pictures of nature won't necessarily know how to take a good headshot for actors. Um, and uh, how to phrase uh, your uh, submission. How do you contact an agent? Uh, because you need to, f to sell yourself. It's a lot of marketing actually being an actor, but when they are just, uh, they, they, they in, here in France, at, in schools, they don't really teach that part of the marketing, the strategy. What do you do after that to, to find an agent? Uh, how do you work on the mindset? So it's, um, 
yeah, so I help on the whole package and also the branding and acting in English as a second language. So, mm-hmm. yeah. <laughs> okay, good stuff. What about um, dur- um, duration of working with you? How long do you have a specific time frame in terms of how long you work with your clients? Um, so I do a monthly, um, a monthly, um, how do you say that? A monthly, month to month. I work month to month with actors and um, it also depends on their budget. Uh, but most of the time it goes from either two hours, two hours to sometimes uh, six hours a week per person. Mm-hmm. And every time it's individual. So mm-hmm. it can fill up quite fast, actually. When, uh, when I have like eight students per month, uh, yeah, my weeks are pretty full. <laughs> yeah. Okay. What about um, with your client? Like what, what is the end result they come to you for? Is it to land a specific role? What, what are they typically at on their journey when they um, job for you? Most of the time they come to me for an audition uh, to prepare an audition. Or, um, or sometimes uh, they come because they know they have to work and they have to train and they want the end result that they want is to move faster because I'm actually condensing decades of my knowledge into months or into sessions. Uh, so uh, most of them come to me because they want to learn and move faster. Mm-hmm. And I'm also, uh, I also started to put online courses, like, I mean, taping my courses. So people who um, don't necessarily want to work one-on-one with me in private coaching can still buy my online course uh, on, yeah, on the platform. Mm-hmm. Okay, cool stuff. So in terms of yourself and your own success, What would you say, um, maybe a few key habits, principles that you follow for yourself that's helped you create your success today? Work ethic, work, 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 and know that uh, nobody else than yourself can do the work. So even even myself, I I tell to my students that if they don't do the work, because I'm giving them the tools, And if they don't do the work, I don't have a magic wand to help them jump and to the lead role of their dream. So they have to do the work. So definitely work, never give up. It's consistency uh, of training, of uh, look submissions. And um, yeah, it's like, it's it's a full-time job. Like looking for auditions is a full-time job and getting ready for uh, every role is, um, yeah. So my my strength is definitely the mindset because I've been through so much, (laughs) but never give up and still have faith. Um, But that's what I meant for, I was meant for uh, becoming an actress and, um, and also what's passionate me about my art is that I can have a voice for the unheard. And my bigger mission uh, is to become successful, of course, even more successful through acting, directing, and coaching. So I can do humanitarian afterwards. Mm-hmm. Awesome. Do you have any books that you, that's really inspired you as you've been on your journey? Uh, yes. Um, well, there's a lot of acting books. I love uh, reading uh, Stanislavski. And, uh, well, it's not only acting books uh, that inspired me. It's also like uh, the book uh, that inspired uh, the movie Into the Wild really inspired me because it's like a kind of spiritual journey, finding yourself. And, um yeah, it's, it's, it, life is a journey. Life is a journey to find yourself and to understand what your mission is. So, uh, and I think that acting is a way to discover yourself, actually, because you learn by studying your emotional life, you learn so much from yourself. And it's also a way to... Uh, 
love yourself, learn how to love yourself. Because I've, I've noticed that many of my students actually don't love them, themselves. So I'm helping them to heal and reconnect with themselves. Yeah. And that's such a big theme, right? As far as some self-love it's one of those mm. things where it's like, hey, do you really, everyone thinks they love themselves, but when you really start, whether you start doing the mindset work, or you start realizing, and you go down that path, you start realizing like, man, like most people, it's like almost like the, the, the image they have of themselves is like, it's like, it's not that ideal. It's like, we think we love ourselves, but we really don't like really do it, right? Mm. And many of them, many people actually do unconscious self-sabotage. Mm-hmm. with all the limiting beliefs that they put into their brain or somebody else did put, did tell them and they keep that. And it's, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's a lot of pain. So yeah. I really, that's why I really want to help people. Yeah. It's, and I, I, I totally get where you're coming from as well. It's because mindset is all those things. I think I, one of my clients, he actually helps individuals with uh, social anxiety and, um, he had, he has a Facebook group, um, a lot of his uh, students, um, individuals, so hanging out with social anxiety. And I went in there and I started reading the comments. And I was like, whoa, what is happening here? And there was this conversation happening with this um, person. And it was like, almost like that person had almost like given up on life. Like the oh. way they, they expressed what they were going through and how they just were never able to. And they, it's almost like they just saw themselves as hey, my life is crap and it will never be the same. I will never get better. It'll just That's just what it is. There's no way my life could ever get better. I'm like, wow, that's a very interesting perspective on, on life. But it's almost like the way you get out of these places is, again, that's where coaching kind of comes in, right? Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Everybody needs help at some point. Yeah, yeah. Awesome, Ikon. Well, hey, if um, someone watching this interview um, wanted to, get, um, to, to learn more about you and really connect and um, probably explore maybe how you could help them or someone they know, what's the best way for them to be able to reach out? Uh, Facebook, uh, I have a page uh, called Miquan Effect. It's spelled M-I space K-W-A-N Effect. That's my coaching uh, Facebook. Otherwise, I have a website, um, it's called uh, miquanlock.com, M-I-K-W-A-N-L-O-C-K.com. Awesome. Love it. And guys, if you're watching this interview on the live or the replay, number one, leave us a comment below so we know you're um, there um, following along with us. And secondly, all the um, links uh, Miquan just uh, mentioned uh, to get connected with her, her website, her Facebook, they will either be right above or below this video. So you can click and get connected right uh, to her. Hey, thank you. <laughs> welcome. Hey, Miquan. Well, hey, thank you so much for making the time to be here and sharing what you do with the uh, community members. I'm pretty sure they're pretty excited to hear about it. Do you have any final questions or final thoughts before we end? Um, I have a left, late motive, which is love, live, give, because I think love is like loving each, loving people, loving yourself. And everything should come from love because when you love what you do, when you're passionate about what you do, first of all, you you never work. You don't work anymore. It's just you love what you do so much that it's, you're enjoying it. And um, live is like enjoying life because it's so important to enjoy life. And give is, I think, the mo- one of the most important thing in life because if you want to receive, you also have to give. And, uh, and what, what's the point of living if you don't give? Mm-hmm. Awesome. Good stuff. Good stuff. There you go, guys. Some awesome words of wisdom. Well, Thank hey, you. you're welcome. Thank you so much, Ami Kwan, for being here and sharing what you do. We'll talk soon, okay? Thank you, Extus. Thank you, guys. Thank you, everybody. Awesome. Enjoy. Bye.